Jonathan Lee Riches investigates. I am on the U.S. border with Mexico. This is the border wall in New Mexico, Santa Teresa, New Mexico. We got to talk, ladies and gentlemen, because apparently there is a measles outbreak going on in Chicago when it comes to the migrants. People are now in shelters in Chicago that have the measles and it's starting to spread which is a national emergency i think one because people are going to need treatment for these measles no health insurance and they're going to inundate the hospital system and possibly crumble it possibly also let's talk about what's going on in chicago in reference to the mayor and uh evicting people in the shelters there's a big problem in Chicago where the migrants who cross into the United States illegally, this is one place here, Santa Teresa, thousands cross over here a month across the United States, tens and tens of thousands a month, if not hundreds of thousands have been crossing over. Let's not forget about the gotaways. Well, here's a story about the measles because I'm a little concerned about this. Matter of fact, I'm actually extremely concerned about the measles because with the measles, one, it could spread. And people are coming in unvetted, bringing contamination, infectious diseases. It's kind of scary because will the measles from the migrants, and um, maybe the migrants got the measles from Americans. We still don't know that either. But this is something that definitely needs awareness too. Chicago to start evicting migrants a mid measles outbreak. As thousands of migrants and asylum seekers living in Chicago run migrant shelters are set to be evicted this weekend, a growing number of confirmed measles cases inside the city's largest shelter has intensified the push for Mayor Brandon Johnson to again extend the deadline. Are they using a measles outbreak as an excuse to be able to stay in shelters? That's another thing I find kind of interesting too, right? Whenever there's national emergencies like COVID, you come with emergency measures. If there's a measles outbreak, maybe they say, okay, well, everyone can just stay in the shelters at the taxpayers' expense. It's a big mess, folks. Bottom line, it is a big mess. Seven measles cases have been confirmed at a shelter in Chicago's Pilsen neighborhood since Friday, including three new cases on Tuesday, the Chicago Department of Health said. At least one additional case has been reported outside the shelter. These cases are the first reported in Chicago since 2019. So, really years, no measles, now suddenly measles when the migrants are in the shelters. That's why I asked, is it migrants getting measles from Americans or are the migrants bringing measles into this country? Look at this border wall, by the way. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere. I just want to turn it around and just show you what this area looks like. Because it's interesting. People cross over the United States illegally. They actually hop over the fence. That's Mexico. There's roads that go parallel to the border wall and people jump out of vehicles, run over to the wall and use makeshift ladders or their belts and climb over. It looks like it's definitely in this area climbable. Doesn't look like you can't climb it, but I've been personally seeing and then they run out into the desert. But Here's the thing, people are coming into the country bringing diseases, is that, is that what's going on here? That's what I'm starting to suspect, but let, let me ask you, do you believe that or do you think they're catching measles once they're in the United States? Or, you know, what's the scenario or situation here? Despite the measles issue, Johnson announced Wednesday that the city will continue to enforce its 60 day limit on shelters stays for migrants who have been housed by the city for months. The Johnson administration had previously stated that about 5,600 migrants could be in that group. <laughs> a lot of people, measles. What's gonna happen here? Will measles start spreading to other shelters in other cities? You know, a lot of times when they kick, like, do you think, a lot of times when they kick the migrants out of the shelters in New York, they end up going to other states. They leave New York City. They leave New York City. So if there is a measles outbreak that starts in Chicago, will it spread to other cities around the country? Is this all by design? 
That's another question. Look at this. People see here and then they... Look, belts. This is what I'm talking about, folks. Now, I'm out here... Look at this. This is what I'm talking about. People use belts to get over the wall. And I see lots of belts in this particular area. And then they cross. And then they try to make a trek through this desert-like terrain. i personally seen Border Patrol hunt down people that cross into the United States illegally on ATVs in this area. I think we got another belt right here. Some shoelaces. A lot of times also is when they get caught, Border Patrol tells them to take their shoelaces off. So it looks like this whole area here, and there's tire tracks out here, people cross into the United States illegally. This looks like some rope. Let's see what's going on here. Well, can't pull it off. Can't pull it off. But there's makeshift ladders and ropes. Sometimes I see ropes hanging on the wall. I am covering the border crisis, monitoring the measles outbreak. It's kind of scary to know that this is starting to happen. And, well, if, if the migrants are bringing in measles from wherever they're coming in, and it starts hitting American children. What's your thoughts about that situation? You know, we all have to agree here that there's been numerous problems that starting to exist uh, with the migrant crisis, in my opinion. But you might feel like migrants are uh, contributing to the economy. You might feel like some people say the migrants actually work eventually and America was built off mig migration. People say that, and uh, here's another one, shoelace, shoelace. Let me know what you thought, Jail think JLR investigates out here in the middle of nowhere where people cross into the United States illegally. Look, inside, water bottles, water bottles, clothing. What's that? Glove, could have had drugs in it, who knows? Water bottles all over the place. See this? Just showing you along the, uh, I mean, also the sanitary aspect of people coming across, trekking, trekking through the Darien Gap and jungles and making their way up. It's kind of wild to think that people are bringing stuff in. Also, it's election year, folks. It's election year. And are we gonna start getting some sort of outbreak of something similar to COVID in 2020? And that makes me wonder too. I am JLR Investigates. Boots on the ground, literally boots on the ground, boots on the ground, shoes on the ground. Out here. We will talk soon. Stay tuned.